Martired Intellectuals Memorial is a memorial built in memory of the martyred intellectuals of Bangladesh Liberation War. The memorial, located at Rayer Bazar, Mahamad Prathana in Dhaka. The memorial was designed by architect Farhan U. Ahmed and Jamie Al Shafi. The initial proposal for a memorial at Rayer Bazar was brought forward by Projanmu 71 Organization of the Children of the Martyrs of Liberation War, who also laid a temporary foundation stone in 1991. During the entire duration of Bangladesh Liberation War of 1971, a large number of teachers, doctors, engineers, Poets and writers were systematically massacred by Pakistan Army and their local collaborators, most notably the alleged Islamist militia groups al badr and al shams The largest number of assassinations took place on December 14, 1971. Only two days before the surrender of Pakistan Army to the joint force of Indian Army and Muqtai Bahini, in the night of December 14, 1971, over 200 of East Pakistan's intellectuals including professors, journalists, doctors, artists, engineers, and writers were rounded up in Dhaka. They were taken blindfolded to torture cells in Mirpur, Mahamadpur, Nagalpara, Rajarbai and other locations in different sections of the city. They were later executed en masse, most notably at Rayar Bazar and Mirpur. In memory of the martyred intellectuals, December 14th is mourned in Bangladesh as Shaheed Bajd Jibi Dabash Day of the Martyred Intellectuals Even after the official ending of the war on December 16th there were reports of hostile fire from the armed Pakistani soldiers and their collaborators. In one such incident, notable filmmaker Zahir Rahan was killed on January 30th, 1972 in Mirpur, allegedly by the armed Beharis of Mirpur. The number of intellectuals killed is estimated as follows, educationist 991, journalist 13, physician 49, lawyer 42, others, literature, artist and engineer 16. Noted intellectuals who were killed between March 25th and December 16, 1971. In different parts of the country included Govinda Chandra Dev, philosopher, professor at Du, Munir Chowdhury, literature, dramatist, professor at Du, Mufazil Haider Chowdhury, literature, professor at Du, Anwar Pasha, literature, professor at Du, Dr. Muhammad Fazil Rabi, cardiologist, Dr. Alim Chowdhury, ophthalmologist, Shahidullah Kesar, journalist, Nizamuddin Ahmed, reporter, Selena Parvin, reporter, Altaf Mahmud, lyricist and musician, Dr. Habibur Rahman, professor of mathematics, Ru, Sukranjan Somatter, professor of Sanskrit, Ru, Mir Abdul Qayyam, professor of psychology, Ru, Durendra Nath Dada, politician, Renata Prasad Sahab, philanthropist, Lieutenant Colonel Muat Sim Hussain, ex-soldier, Mamun Mahmud, police officer, and many others. In 1993 government of Bangladesh decided to erect a memorial at the site of this barbarous A. The Ministry of Housing and Works Department and the Institute of Architects Bangladesh jointly organized a national-level architectural competition for the design of the memorial Badia Bhumi Smriti Sauda. Out of 22 entries the jurors selected the design proposal of architect Faraduddin Ahmed and architect M.D. Jamie Al Shafi. Public Works Department was responsible for the implementation of the project and its completion took about three years 1996 to 1999. A square grid of 15.24 meters by 15.24 meters has divided the whole site of 3.51 acre. The main platform is raised 2.44 meters above the street level. The main element of the monument is the 17.68 meters high, 0.91 meters thick and 115.82 meters long curved brick wall, representing the original brickfield of Rayer Bazaar where the dead bodies were found. The wall itself is broken at the two ends, demonstrating the depth of grief and sorrow. 
a 6.10 meters by 6.10 meters square window at the southwest side of the wall permits visitors view to reach the sky behind, that also scale down the immense wall. In front of the curved wall is a still water body from which rises a black granite column, which represents grief. Rayer Bazaar will remain in our memories, in our history for the nation of Bangladesh. After the Liberation War, the people of Dhaka found out that all the dead bodies of many great intellectuals and innocent people are piled up in here.